Well, hello everybody. This is Marty Whitney and I'm going to adjust you so you can see me. Uh, my cameras, uh, we're in a remote location today and it's not picking up one of my camera angles. So I'm going to use my iPhone and we're going to act like this never happened. I'm, a, I'm good at this, aren't I? Okay. Um, let me just make sure that I can see your comments. I'm so glad you're here today. Uh, we're starting a new project today, and the project is going to be um, the project is going to be painting um, a tool utility bag. And so, what I'm going to be doing in just a second is churning the camera so that. You don't see me. You didn't need to see me anyway. And we're going to be, I'll be explaining the uh, project. I've done this project a couple of times before and it is adorable. You can use it at, uh, you know, you can use it um, to hold sewing items, tools. You see those little cute little pink tools somewhere? Well, you don't have to have pink tools. Um, let me tighten this and so what we're going to do though is I have a black bag and I thought this would probably be easier for you to visualize so that when you paint yours it'll be uh, really nice and easy so anyway we'll just get started with it and I'm going to point you down but I can see your comments if you uh, have something to say to me so, uh, I'm not saying that's going to work all the time, but I will be doing it uh, intentionally to see what you have to say. So, anyway, here you go. I'm just going to point this down, and I've got to make a few adjustments, so talk amongst yourselves. There. Now, this is the bag. Uh, that we're going to be painting. This is not the utility bag. This is a shopping bag, but I felt like it would be easy uh, for you. Uh, let me know if, oh, I know what. You probably can't hear me very well. There. Okay. Uh, now I have some, here's my idea about this. Like I told you before, I usually use a charcoal pencil to mark. Um, this will be kind of like my basic uh, marking it up and I've divided this into fours because as you can see this is it's four little pots I would like to be able to talk to you while I'm doing that. I mean, to see for you to see me as well um, but maybe it's me that needs that more than you uh, I'm going to just kind of divide these up. Like I said, I like to use a charcoal pencil when I'm working on dark fabric like this because I can wipe it off with a wet towel. Let's see. Okay, there. Okay, now I can see you. Now, the first pot that I have is kind of like this and you know we're over in Destin Florida and we're in top sale um, which is number one rated state park in Florida we love to come here and here's a little tab here, so I don't want to go over that. So I'm just going to do my flower petals like this. And I'm going to, this gives me a real good line to follow whenever I start getting my paints out. I'm going to put a little bit of a lip around the flower pot. And I'm also, I don't, I don't have to do it now, but this one has a little bit kind of like a, a sweetheart little 
part. So we'll go back. And we'll shade it in here. I hope you're with me and that you'll let me know if you have any questions. Hey Maureen, nice to see you today. We're having a lot of a lot of really bad thunderstorms over here uh, in in South Florida. I mean, I'm in uh, the west part of Florida. This is called the Panhandle, and I'm going to go on and go to the other flower pot. Like I said, all of this is going to be erased whenever I get through drawing and everything. And I'm just gonna put the little wheels to the flower pot here and adjust that if I see that one of them is larger than the other. Can you hear me okay, Maureen? Uh, and I'll go through, you know, this one has flowers for sale on it. I'll do this at the very end. I'm also, it's not necessary to do the flower petals either because they are going to be easy to paint. So I will go on to flower pot number three. See, this is going pretty fast. Now, I wouldn't normally do this because I love to take my time whenever I'm painting. Um, I'll be leaving, uh, you know, we're with uh, some friends, and I'll be leaving for a business trip on Wednesday and won't be back until the following Monday. So you'll hear from me, but I'll just have to tell you where I am when I can. Okay, so, hi Jane, can you hear me okay? I had to change at the last minute. I had two cameras and one of the angles wouldn't work. All I can assume is that I don't have a very good signal where we are. Okay, same here. This is going to be just a couple of stems and I'm going to just kind of make a flower that I'll go back and paint in the whatever colors I want. I'm even changing it around from what it is because it's not, it just isn't important. These charcoal white lines will go away as soon as I finish my project. Okay, the last, the last pot is the small little one and that would be probably with a little green in it. So we'll just paint a little green pot for small, a small green plant. And I'm going to put just a sun here. In fact, I think I'll come up here and draw the sun because it won't matter. And I'll do it in different shades here and give it some rays here. So there you go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Let me see, I can't see. I've been doing this for just a little bit now. So we'll go ahead and I'll start putting some paint on here so you can see what I mean. This is a very fun project. Um, I'm using this bag because I already have a utility bag and there isn't a Harbor Freight within 50 miles of me right now. So I'm just gonna put some paint on a little so I need some red, orange, brown. If you've been following me. We came over here from, where were we? From also a Pan Am handle town uh, called Carabell. Let's see so you can see it. 
I have some water here and a towel. I don't have on my apron, so that, you know what that means. Uh -huh. can get it all over me today. And I'm just gonna start painting. I just have a flat brush and I'm just gonna start painting. Let me get a little bit. So, um, I teach painting all over the country uh, to RV resorts and to private resorts uh, during the winter. My husband and I never thought we'd be snowbirds because we're from Florida, but that turns out to be exactly what we are. Uh, one of the nice things about painting in black and I know you know this if you paint a little bit, is that it just gives you a real good shadow and it gives you, um, something to work with. Uh, I always, if I make a mistake, that's not a big deal because I have Sharpie pens that are black and I can cover it up. Now, and I'll just, kind of make my line around here. Hope y'all had a good weekend. We just went out to a place called McGuire's. If you've been to McGuire's, raise your hand. I see all 50 of you over there raising your hands. McGuire's is probably one of the most popular Irish restaurant, pubs, whatever. Uh, in Pensacola as well as in Destin and that's in Okaloosa County so I had uh, their special of the day which was a Senate bean soup and then you then my their special meal of the day was shepherd's pie and you couldn't eat it all. You just couldn't eat it all. Okay. I'm just gonna, if you have any questions, just say something. Hey, Donna, glad you're here. Oh, Jane, it's good to see you. Um, we're just gonna continue painting this. I'm not gonna finish it today. Like I said, if you just came in, One of my camera angles would not work today, so I just decided to do a Facebook Live, plain old, down and dirty Facebook Live. And I will use this as a shopping bag when I finish. I have a lot of these that I've used in classes, and I promise you, if you use them, uh, and you know, we're gonna all be changing around from using uh, plastic. Then we're going to be using these beautiful bags. They're nice gifts to give to people. Plus they will help you stay a little bit organized, right? Uh, that, that would be the thought anyway. Okay, so just carry on here. I'm not. Now my, my next, um, the next thing I'll do is decide, well, what colors am I gonna be coloring this? Um, what colors are the flowers going to be? Let me know if you have any. Hey, Susan. Susan, nice to see you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, Susan, I was just telling what we are in what they call the Emerald Coast of Florida. The water is just beautiful green. And um, the, only, the only complaint I have is since the last time I've here, it is unbelievably crowded. I'm surprised it. Yeah, you know, they are doing a four lane out on Highway 98, 
and there are some beautiful places to stay here if uh, you're not um, if, you, if you don't have a motorhome okay okay I'm just gonna try to shadow this just a little bit I hope you're hearing me okay and this is something that you can do without me even being with you take a screenshot of the pictures that I've posted of this um, tool bag just take a screenshot and use it as a guide I did have a little bit darker ter terracotta uh, when I did the first one. So we're just gonna improvise with that and do this. Susan, I hope you got moved okay. Um, all right, now I'm just going to get I'm gonna get another brush and I'll just I need a little bit of water. And I can go back and I think I'll get another color. This just really isn't sexy enough color. I hope y'all have had some time to uh, get together and paint this summer. This has been a great day to uh, a great time to do it because it's so hot outside. That's why I've enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Ross, well, all my buddies are here. Thank you for coming today. Uh, Ross, this is was it. It is going to be a shopping bag. It is the same design that I have on the utility bag, but I felt like it would probably be easier to do it this way um, to show you the project when it's flat. I won't be able to get to all of it, but tomorrow I will be back and we're going to work on this some more. So I'm going to, I'm about to uh, leave to go do a little bit of shopping before I leave. I've got to get a couple of things for my trip and not much because I don't have any room in my suitcase. Okay. And I just kind of, I'm not real happy with this brush, so it's about to go. And you just paint on this black until it catches. Sometimes people use a little bit more water to, to make that happen. I hope one day you will feel comfortable enough to get your paints out and paint with me. Uh, it's a lot of fun doing it like this. And if you have questions at the time, you can ask me then. Hey, Roz Simpson. I hope your grandson is better. Get another color. Roz grandson just broke his arm and it must have been a bad break so that's not good whenever you're a teenager and Roz is a quilter and so is Maureen and I'm sorry that you can't see my face right now because one of my camera angles wouldn't work, so we weren't gonna let that hold us back. 
Now, I'm gonna change brushes and I'm gonna get a little bit of a green going. I was hoping I pulled the right colors whenever I came. Um, you don't ever know. And you know what? Sometimes they can be make-believe colors anyway. You don't have to always. Okay. And I'll do this at an angle, like I told you. We're working with charcoal uh, pencil, so I'll easily, do you use that when you quilt, Roz? Um, oh, both bones, I'm so sorry. Well, he'll have a long recuperation. You know, one time I broke my wrist on the way to an FMCA rally in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, you just have to work around it. I think I'll put a little bit of, maybe, like I said, we can do whatever we want with our picture. Okay, so that's one for right now. And I'll go back and touch this up uh, in time. I'm gonna go on to my flowers for sale. And hope y'all are having a good summer. We will leave here next week and go up to Little Town. Oh, we're going to stay near. Let me see. What is it? Um, Troy, Alabama. On the way up to you know where. Uh, if, if you're in the peanut gallery, you probably could guess where we're going. Uh, Red Bay. Yes, that's right. Red Bay. Uh, but first, we will have a couple of trips uh, stopping in Montgomery, Alabama. So, anyway, if, you're, if you are, I believe, we've been doing this about 20 minutes. I didn't want to keep you any longer than that today. I appreciate you coming uh, to today to the live, and we'll just see whether it's my signal or my camera tomorrow. Anyway. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Roz. And it, it is gonna look good in the uh, when we finish. We're gonna try to finish it tomorrow, because like I said on Wednesday, I'll be leaving for Toronto, and I'll be talking to you then. All of you that were here today, thank you so much. And I hope you'll pass it on so somebody else will be able to look at this. So, y'all have a good evening, and I'll talk to you later.